Hello and welcome to Linmot Tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to set up a linear rotary system in Linmot Talk through Motor Wizard. Since this is a linear rotary motor, one drive is connected to the linear part and the other drive is connected to the rotative part. Each separate part has its own part number. However, for the purpose of this video, we will be focusing on the combined part number, in this case, PR01, which refers to the linear rotary motor as a whole. In specific, you will use the part number, and this will be the number that you put into Motor Wizard for the actuator selection process for both the linear and the rotary drive. Here, the first thing I'm going to do is log into the drive. I am logging into the linear drive as that is a part connected to the linear part of the motor. I'm going to go into Motor Wizard, select Linear Rotary Parts, select the family your motor is from, in this case, PR01, and after that, specify that it is a linear part. Now I'm looking for the number that is on the combined part number for the linear rotary motor as a whole. I'm going to name it Linear Part, Add the extension cable as labeled and select the orientation angle that matches the position of your motor. In this case, it's positive 90 degrees. Finish the motor wizard as followed. There will be a motor wizard specific video linked in the description below. Once you have finished the motor wizard selection, you can reboot the drive. And once it's rebooted, you can toggle the switch to switch it on and home the device manually. If this goes through, you know you have set up the linear part of your linear rotary motor correctly. Now that you have the linear drive set up in Motor Wizard, you will log in to the rotary drive in the same way. Each drive must be programmed separately. So I will go into Motor Wizard, click Linear Rotary Motors, PR01, and specify it as a rotary part. Now I will select the same number that I selected for the linear drive. And I can name this as a rotary part. Now I'm going to continue by putting in the extension cable as labeled. And one option you have with the rotary drive is selecting your unit of measurement, linear versus rotary, or millimeters versus degrees. Here, the linear units show the motor moves 36 millimeters per revolution. After you are done setting up Motor Wizard for the rotary drive, you can reboot your drive and manually switch on your motor to check that you've gone through Motor Wizard correctly. You do not need to home because the rotary motor has an absolute position sensor. You can check if torque has been applied by attempting to twist the shaft by hand. With the drive turned on and torque applied, you've successfully set up your linear rotary motor.